Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adding a gradient to a shape in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have a shape here and it's got a fill. Obviously I can change the fill color very easily by selecting an alternate fill. I'm going to the gradient tab and I want to apply a gradient to this shape. So I'm going to select my gradient and I want this to be a radial gradient. So I'm going to select radial. I'm also going to reverse my gradient so that it is yellow on the outside and the sort of bluey red on the inside. And now I want to adjust the positioning of the gradient and that's going to be the problem. Even though I deselect a line with layer, every time I try to drag the gradient around, it's actually dragging the shape. If I select a line to layer, the same thing is happening. There is no method that I can see that you can actually move the gradient inside the shape in Adobe Photoshop. Everything seems to fail quite spectacularly. But there is a solution and that is to ignore the fill and come across here regardless of what your shape is filled with and click the FX icon and select gradient overlay. Now you get the choice of applying a gradient overlay to the shape and up the top here it says click and drag to reposition the gradient. So I can just click and drag to move the gradient around within the shape. I've got it set to radial, exactly the same as what I was trying to do previously. But here in the gradient overlay I get control over the gradient so I can place it exactly where I want it to be. Because the gradient is implied in normal blend mode, it's just going over the top, straight over the top of whatever the contents were of that shape. So it doesn't really matter what your shape was filled with, whether it's a solid color or a gradient or whatever, this gradient overlay is just going straight over the top. So I hope that this video helps you when you're trying to place gradients in shapes in Photoshop, being able to position them exactly where you want to. And the answer, of course, is don't put them in the shape. Instead, just do a gradient overlay effect. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.